Hi, my name is Vanessa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use your toner, the ordinary caffeine solution and niacinamide serum. Now, the most confusing part is the order of application and there are a few factors to consider and based on that you would adjust the order of application. So the first one would be that the caffeine solution can be a bit drying on the eye contour. So if you have a hydrating toner at home, my suggestion would be using that one at first and then move on to the caffeine solution and then your niacinamide serum. If, however, you want to target your most like important concern at first and you have, for example, puffy eyes, that you really want to treat at first to have like the maximum penetration well then you could go ahead use the caffeine solution at first move on to your toner and then your niacinamide zone and the last option would be if you're working with an exfoliating acid toner such as the ordinary glycolic acid toner there it mentions specifically that you should leave out the eye contour. So if you're going to leave out the eye contour, it does not matter if you're going to apply the caffeine solution before applying your exfoliating acid toner or afterwards because you're not going to layer them on top of each other. So you have different like um, options on how you can layer those specific products. And I'm now going to show you one demonstration on how you then can use those individual products. And I have the example routine right here and I want to go through this step by step from the beginning to the end. So I do want to quickly emphasize one more important thing and this is the caffeine solution and niacinamide can be used daily in the morning as well as evening. Whereas with your toner, hydrating toner can also be used daily in the morning and evening. Um, however, when it comes to your exfoliating acid toner, it's ideal to use it in the evening and adjust the frequency accordingly. So we are going to get started with the first step, which is washing your face. So I have two regular cleansers right here for different skin types. I'm going to use Cetaphil's Daily Facial Cleanser as an example. If you have a different one, exchange it, read on the back of the packaging on how you're going to use your cleanser. If you should work with an exfoliating acid toner, please avoid exfoliating acid cleansers. So right here it is advised to apply to wet skin. So that's what I'm going to do at first, wetting my face and neck using lukewarm water to warm water. Then I'm going to use a bit of the cleanser, massage it all over my face and neck, rinsing it off. And then we are heading into the other steps that follow. Now you could wash your face above the sink or in the shower, either way is fine. So let's go ahead and do this. So use about one to two pumps, maybe one and a half pumps, so that you have enough to massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute. So once you have massaged it all over your face and neck, you now can go ahead and rinse it off. When doing this above the sink, I'm now going to use my hands to get most of it off. And then I'm going to use my soft and fresh microfiber makeup washcloth to remove any last residue of my cleanser so I can properly take it off the skin. Take the washcloth and wet it. Now squeeze it out and swipe across your face and neck. And now rinse again. And now go ahead and take a clean towel and gently pat all over to remove the excess water from the skin surface. So once you're done with your cleansing step, you now can move on to the next step. Now again, if you have a hydrating and soothing toner, my suggestion would be using that one at first before applying the caffeine solution to avoid that dry feeling that the caffeine solution can leave on the eye contour. And in that sense, you would use your toner all over, which I will show you in just a moment. However, when it comes to an exfoliating acid toner, such as ordinary glycolic acid toner, 
That one, again, it is advised to avoid your eye contour. So when applying it with your hands or maybe with a cotton pad, you're going to avoid the eye contour. And then in that sense, you can use the caffeine solution before or after the exfoliating acid toner. So I'm not going to work with my exfoliating acid toner. I want to show you the application with an hydrating toner and then using the caffeine solution on top. So I'm going to use ISM3 hyaluronic acid toner as an example. And I prefer to apply it with my hands, but of course you could go ahead and apply it with a cotton pad as well. So if you're working with a hydrating toner or an exfoliating acid toner, I use between 5 to 10 drops for your face and neck. And now with the hydrating toner, I'm able to use it on the eye contour as well. So once you have applied your hydrating toner or exfoliating acid toner, you're going to leave it on the skin desk, no need to wash it off. And then give it about 30 seconds to a minute in between so it can absorb into the skin before moving on to the next step. Now again, when it comes to the next step, you would use the zones based on what your biggest concern may be. So if this is not puffiness, you would use the caffeine solution at first. If you want to target uh, your oiliness, maybe in large pores or dark spots, well then you would use niacinamide at first. In that sense, the order of application does, like, does not really matter because they have a similar texture. All what matters is applying the products based on your skin concerns. But I'm now going to go with the caffeine solution to target then in that sense puffiness. And because the caffeine solution can be quite drying when using it on its own, using it along with hydrating products, either on hydrating toner or maybe moisturizer or an eye cream afterwards on top, can always help you to balance that dryness. And so I recommend using one drop on your fingertip. And then rub your fingertips together and then apply it evenly on the eye contour. You can dab it or gently blend it. Now just make sure to not get it into your eyes nor use it on top of your eyelids. Just keep it on the eye contour. And then wait a moment for it to absorb. It should happen quite quickly. I recommend just going with one drops for both eyes because two drops for both eyes can become even drier and may leave a very uncomfortable and sticky feeling. So usually one drop should be enough to cover that specific area. And so once you have applied the caffeine solution, you're going to leave it on the skin desk no need to wash it off. And then you would head into, now if you're going to go with my order of application, head into niacinamide, which you then would apply evenly all over. And you could use niacinamide on the eye contour as well, if you like to, and if you enjoy that combination, go ahead and do so. Otherwise, if you just want to keep the focus on the, like, um, with the caffeine solution on your eye contour, well then you could use nice and amount around the eye contour as well. So there again, you have a bit of like playroom if you want to use it on top or just along with it. Then when it comes to niacinamide, that one has a thicker, stickier texture. So my general guide would be go with about three to five drops. Blend it between your hands and then blend it evenly all over your face and neck. Now again, you can avoid it or use it on top of the caffeine solution, like on the eye contour. Just make sure again to not use it on top of your eyelids, not get it into your eyes. So, and once you have applied it evenly all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now, depending on your skin type, your overall skin concerns, you can stop right here, just use those products on their own, and then there you have it. For today, you would apply sunscreen to protect the skin from the damaging UV rays. However, if you feel the need of following with moisturizer afterwards or you're trying to repair your skin barrier, well then you can now go ahead and follow with your moisturizer. And I'm going to use the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors. So use about a pea size to a bean size amount to apply it evenly and thinly all over or just on areas where you experience a bit more dryness and leave out the oilier parts. So about that much, more or less and then apply evenly all over. 
Again, now with the moisturizer, you can go ahead and use it specifically on the eye contour to balance the dryness that you may experience when using the caffeine solution. You could do the same by also just using an eye cream if you do not want to follow with the moisturizer afterwards. So, and once you have applied everything all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. And then this would be it if you're just staying inside or if it's going to be your evening skincare routine. Otherwise, now would be the time to follow with your sunscreen afterwards. Now, this is what I wanted to share with you, primarily the OLF application and the entire application step by step so that you can see it visually and now recreate it and try it out at home. Now, if you want to go over again the example routines, I have prepared for you everything in a PowerPoint and you will be able to find the entire PowerPoint in the description box down below. Now, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to learn more about skincare, I'm going to leave some of the videos at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skin caring. Bye!